The Olympics is the stage for ultimate sporting glory. For Germany's Mark Lamsfuss and Isabel Hertrich, it means everything to finally realize the biggest ambition of any badminton player. It was always my dream when I was young and uh, I'm from a really small village called Wipperfeld. So there are only living 800 people and if I think about that, I'm quite proud about it. Finally, we, we did it and we made it and um, we got to be part of it and that's it's just a great, great feeling and a very, very big uh, to do that we can now tick. <laughs> It's, it's going to be a, a tough year. We expected 12 tough months with a lot of tournaments, a lot of traveling and yeah, a lot of tough matches, uh, good wins, but also tough, tough losses. So that's, I think it's, it's about the Olympic qualification. And um, yeah, we started really good. We had a good, good month in June, good tour, but we knew that this won't be enough because there are so many pairs who can be the best in the world. So we knew we have to deliver even more, more good results. And, uh, we knew it's going to be tough till the end. We start with a lot of tournaments to try to, to get or collect some good points. Um, yeah, and if we have trouble and have like bad results, we have to play a lot of tournaments. Uh, of course, if the start is really good, uh, maybe we can take some tournaments off, but actually um, we are not yet on that level just playing 12 tournaments and qualifying. In my mind is Japan Open. I think in the second round we beat Tabling Peak and uh, it was a crazy match. We had a lot of pressure and it was kind of rivals. So who's the one who's going to, to the quarterfinal and get some good points? Uh, I remember it was a tough match. We were not performing on our, on our best, but in the end, it seems like we just fight through. And uh, I have this in my mind for um, yeah, we can always beat everyone and even though we are not on our best level um, and under a lot of pressure. We knew that even if the lockdown came and um, yeah, we knew we have to be ready because nobody knew when the qualification will start again. So yeah, we just try to, to train as hard as we could and be ready if, if it's starts again so that also was why we were really good in October even if it didn't count for the Olympic qualification but we wanted to be fully ready if it's starting again. This also helped us within the last few weeks of the qualification even if it was only two tournaments for us but yeah I think it was quite good as well. For me, it was a quite good opportunity to improve a lot of things. Um, and uh, I really like to have these long periods of training. At first, it was crazy and also mentally quite hard because everything was suspended and there were so many uncertainties. You never knew when it's going to be the next one. As Mark said, we, we trained really good and tried to, or also me, to be, I tried to stay focused and use use this period um, for, for training and to, to just improve and get better. My goal is to, to win a medal, maybe in Tokyo, maybe in Paris in uh, three years. I like to look on long-term parts. I would just go on court and uh, show what German badminton uh, is able to play or to do. I don't know if I'm thinking about Paris, but I, I'm thinking about Tokyo and the medal there. But um, yeah, as Mike said, of course, the mindset is it's important and against the, the top eight pairs or something, we yeah, kind of may have the feeling like we have nothing to lose and that could help a lot because they know they have something to lose against us. So um, we'll be ready 